Hey there everybody, happy Thursday to you. I'm working in my big glue book, B-I-G glue book today. Uh, you guys might recall I worked on this, uh, I think it was maybe last week, we did a couple sessions in it. As this has progressed, I've started using these pages in my current batch of journals. I don't have anything in the shop journal-wise right now. I've been doing some de-stashing, and that's basically what you'll find in the store. At this point, I have some vintage maps for sale, some books, ephemera, things like that. I thought we would sit here today and do a couple of pages. I've got an idea. I want to do, instead of uh, being portrait oriented, I am going to go landscape oriented, and I think this will, you know, it's, a, it's a, just a challenge to, uh, you know, to kind of get those creative juices flowing and get those, um, you know, get that energy onto the page because that's what, that's what crafting is, right? That's what art is. It is getting your energy onto a page. Let's get out some glue, and I might need like something a little more substantial than, than a glue stick. So I'm just going to take a couple things out here. I'm going to take my Dick Blit glue stick as well as my, um, this, I'm, I'm really, I like this, I like this aqua tombow mono liquid glue it has a you know a small end right here a small tip and then it has like a big fat tip here the only trouble that i have with this and and let me know if you guys have the same issue with it is that um it it um it never disappears from a page it you always kind of get this residual glue line I don't know if that's just me. It could be just me, but let me know. You know, am I doing something wrong with this particular glue or what's up with it? Uh, let me know. Wow, I need to get a drink of water. Hold on. I just finished an ab and arm and um, face yoga workout and I forgot to have myself a big drink afterwards so I'm thinking this these are I'm just working with just like a few things today this is a neuro neuro I think that's what Shanna Green is calling it Shanna Green is doing some great work with neuro doodles it, it um she she uh she does great work with whatever all the time but she seems to have really gravitated to the neurodoodle thing. It's always fun to watch Shannon's process, to watch her, um, you know, talking about getting energy onto a page. She's like stellar at that. I don't want to cover the whole page with this green. I'm not particularly fond of this color of green. So what we're going to do is just like use little strips of it. And then I've got this beautiful um, butterfly calendar here. And I think what we'll do is just use some images from the butterfly um, calendar. So let's get started. I have my thick glue stick here. And this works, you know, this works just fine. Um, I hear my postman. I'm not going totally, you know, the thing about working, you know, with a, with a, <laughs> this was, this is a Foxy, uh, no, yeah, it is, it's a Foxy planner that I just didn't quite gravitate to. I use uh, a Creative Freedom planner instead, which I really gravitated to. As a matter of fact, I just bought my new one. I think the dots are interesting here, don't you? We might be able to do some pen work. You know, where we see the dots. And of course, you guys know that I love any calendar. Calendar wording, days of the week. 
that sort of thing. And we're folding over instead of tearing because this is a great way to just kind of create some juicy edging. You can see that I'm, I've started doing that on the previous pages here. All right. I think I'll do one more right there. I can cover up all the writing. I like this though. It says distractions to avoid. And one thing I always wanted to do, what are your most distracting things? What's the most, when you sit down to craft or art or the thing that you do to get energy out, what is, what's like your main detraction? What, what distracts you most? I'm ashamed to tell you that for me, the last like couple weeks has been Johnny Depp. But here's what I did. That was that was mm, okay. Let's let's start this way. Johnny Depp is my favorite actor ever of all time. I think he is fabulous. I love his backstory. I love that he was a musician. I love that he um, found solace in playing guitar when he was really young. So did I. But the whole like thing that's going on now I think it just made me sad <laughs> so I stopped watching it it was um you know it's just it was just it was just discouraging and I thought well I'd like to listen to it but then it was like mm, I don't know I did listen to it maybe 30 minutes one day and it was like oh it's just a lot to it's a lot to process I'm, I'm kind of of the mind you should just air your grievances privately and not in some sort of public forum, but, you know, I, I am not in the public eye, thank goodness. Man, I'm really liking that, y'all. I'm liking the way that's turning out. All right, let's get one of our butterfly images going on here. Isn't this pretty? It's a 2022 Butterflies calendar. It even has these images on the back that I'll probably use. Aren't these pretty? For making chippies or something like that. So let's choose. Well, I'm kind of thinking that that would be good. That would be good. Hmm. I like this one. Now, because I'm going to fold this and use it in other journals, I want to be sure that I'm getting, like, the image. And I, can, I think I can do away with the subterfuge here. Generally, I would tear that. But I think that I kind of want to... I'm going to fussy cut it. Won't these be pretty pages in a book? I really appreciate you guys supporting the new journals that I'm doing. I'm having a terrific, wonderful time making them. Like I said, there's nothing in the shop right now. Except for scrapbooking supplies. But hopefully, we'll get a little bit of time next week. Maybe. Okay, that that's cool. Let's do that. I don't think it really, like, 
Do you think it blends in too much? I'm just going to leave it like that. And then I can fold this page and it, it will be, you know, like a page in a book. Whoops. Kind of went off just a little bit there. It's okay. All right. Mm, pretty. All right. Let's do another one. I like these lawns here. I like the words monthly review. But, you know, it's going to be going the wrong way if we're doing a landscape thing. But, you know, it doesn't, doesn't really matter, does it? It really doesn't matter so much. I do have glue on here. Because I put that paper down where there was some glue. Now I did stripes, but I think I think this time I'm gonna do this. We're getting a little visit from Mia because it is time to eat. And Mia's all about it, aren't you, Mia? She loves to eat, huh? She loves to eat. Very hungry, Mom. Hurry up. I'm going to leave some of the words. It says, how do I feel about my progress? Monthly review. You know, I like these um, on a scale of 1 to 10 things. But our butterfly image may kind of cover that up. Also, you don't really have to stop here. This can be like your, you know, when we finish this page. Whoops. Hold on. There we go. When we finish this page, I could probably take it downstairs and like, you know, like I mentioned, do something with these, uh, with these circles here. I'm really drawn to that at the moment. All right. Now I also have some of this green that I can use from the previous image. I think I'll probably do that. It'd be kind of fun. I am gluing on this opposite page over here, so that's why we got some sticky going on. I sorta am planning on the opposite pages. I'm using the sticky as a resist. Maybe do a little watercolor wash or something, you know, over here. So, you know, the whole Tammy likes to do two birds, one stone. It's a time management thing. <laughs> All right. So I mentioned this green. And you could use like the opposite side, you know, if you're working with the calendar. So let's get this, this down. Like this. That's nice. That just made a nice little top right there. Mm. 
many butterflies yet but we um let's see it's been like that hot cold hot cold thing it's pretty warm yesterday today it's pretty warm there's a cold front coming through i think the high on monday is 60 at least it's not like getting super cold now at night, which is awesome because our strawberries down at the berry farm are getting so close. We're getting so close to opening. I've been very busy getting all of our ducks in a row to open. I love it. Even though we don't do festivals anymore, that was a that was a really big part of my work at the farm. But oh well. All right. See, it's very simple, but really effective. You know, um, anything really does pop on that. The white paper and we you know let's let's notice that we we did not use a lot of supplies we used a calendar piece of construction paper and a neuro doodle to really add interest here isn't that pretty and that's going to make some pretty pages. All right. One more page because Mia is very hungry. And I know Susie's hungry as well. Um, continue the green. many. My neighbor's roses are blooming. My peony are getting ready to bloom. Queen of the Nile is done. She's all gone now. My daisies got frost bitten twice <laughs> but they're my shasta daisies they're they're struggling along you don't want no more of that i have my tomatoes cucumbers and potatoes all planted That's really nice. In the current state of things, I think it's a good idea to have a little have a, a little garden. We have a big garden space. It's overrun with it's overrun with brown hogs. I can't use it. They're very, very, um, sassy groundhogs. <laughs> they just, I mean, they'll watch you. They'll, they'll watch you, like, put something in the ground, and then when you're gone, it's like, oh, fair game. Let's go, boys. Frustrating. But oh well. It's nature, right? can't reason with them. You can't go, hey, don't eat this. It's mine. 
I even thought one year, you know, I might, if, if I just planted a whole lot, you know, maybe they, this was silly, maybe they would just leave me something. It's like, nope, not gonna do that. I've got one more strip here. I think I'll put that over there. As usual, Shannon Green's channel is linked in the description box below. So do check her out. Everybody knows Shannon. She's the sweetest. Hmm. Oh, I do like that one. Oh, I said dinner. Are you hungry, Lisa May? Hmm? Are you hungry? I think, is this a moth? What is it? Oh, butterflies have antenna and moths don't. Is that right? Somebody out there knows. This little baby has an antenna. Antenna. Do you know what? I'm going to cut that off. I know I shouldn't, but I am. Because it's my glue book, I can do whatever I want. Is that going to be too wide? I'll just do it like that. I think that'll be okay. Should probably scoot it over. All right, friends. Just a very quick little session in my big glue book. Using up some scrappy bits of this and that. I hope you've started a big glue book. If you have started a big glue book, chime in. Let me know. Let me know how it's going for you. Let me know if you like a, a bigger format, you know, instead of something small. I'm kind of digging just a bigger format. I have some severe sticky going on here. All right, friends. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you like this video, I have a Venmo site and would love a tip or two. Would be awesome, Dawson. Thanks a lot, y'all. See you later. Bye.